Hey gearheads and welcome to Garage Talk. I'm Corey and I believe I have found the most beautiful vehicle on sale today in this 2022 Lexus LC 500 convertible. This thing is absolutely glorious. And with its long hood, short deck lid, big wheels, and just absurd styling, this thing has turned heads everywhere we've taken it. I am absolutely in love with this vehicle, and it is set to go up against the likes of the famed Mercedes-Benz SL Roadster. So how does this 2022 Lexus LC500 convertible stack up? Stay tuned to find out. There is absolutely nothing subtle about this vehicle from its exterior design to even the interior on this and even what is lurking underneath the hood there. This is the five liter naturally aspirated V8. And this is perhaps the swan song of the Lexus V8 because the brand promises to go all electric in the very near future, launching their first ever fully electric EV crossover this very year. And you can catch that in the latest Black Panther movie, Wakanda Forever. There are a lot of tie-ins between this vehicle and the original 2018 Black Panther movie because uh, Lexus unveiled or showed this vehicle off to the world in coupe form in the 2018 version because this vehicle was coming out at the ver very same time. In fact, Shuri Remote Control drove this car from Wakanda while her brother T'Challa was riding on the roof uh, as they were chasing after Claw in South Korea. And that chase scene was oh so glorious thanks to this five liter naturally aspirated V8. It makes 471 horsepower and 389 pound-feet of torque. You can see it has dual air intakes and it absolutely sounds glorious. <laughs> Lexus claims the exhaust is tuned like a finely precisioned and tuned wind instrument and it absolutely shows here in this V8. Closing the hood and you can just truly take in the glorious proportions and design of this vehicle. The sloping lines, the spindle grille, which in this vehicle looks absolutely glorious. I think this is the best interpretation of Lexus's famed spindle grille. You get these very awesome tri-unit headlights here, your typical Lexus checkmark running lights and your turn signals running down the side here. A very cohesive design that is very Lexus and very recognizable. Even if you don't know uh, exactly what it is behind you, you know it's a Lexus. And moving back, uh, this hood is very long and makes for a very dramatic approach from that side angle. And this right here is probably the most dramatic view of the LC500 convertible, of course, with the top down. Again, going to that long hood that just screams power from that V8 that lurks beneath. And then on our touring model, we have 21 inch wheels wrapped in Dunlop performance tires. These are very sticky. We actually drove this exact same vehicle earlier, earlier this year at Texas Motor Speedway not actually on the track, but after getting these tires warmed up, they were grabbing, grabbing all of the gravel up off the road. They're very sticky and very good. And while I'm up in this wheel well, I will talk about the air curtain or uh, air flow that comes around the front from that functional air vent up in the front bumper, brings air out and around uh, this wheel and tire combo. Back behind the 21 inch wheel, you do get six piston calipers with a two piece 
rotor design that do an amazing job stopping and slowing this vehicle down. While we are talking airflow up front, I can't forget the airflow back here around the back wheels and tires. So you have functional vents right here back behind the front door that bring air out and around and uh, give a better aerodynamic appearance and functionality to the rear of this car as well. You get a very, very beautiful view with the top down. I'll put the top up in some B-roll and show you just how much Lexus really kept the design and uh, flowing lines of the coupe true on this convertible with the top up or down. I think this is a striking car in either configuration, but it definitely looks better with the top down just because that is how this vehicle was designed to be. And we will get more into the interior here in just a little bit, but the back of the top section uh, is right here. So you can see just how large the roof uh, takes up in the back of the LC500. And then you get a very decent sized trunk back here in the back. The attention to detail from Lexus designers did not stop with the rest of the vehicle uh, when you get back here to the back because there is a lot going on back here, especially in these taillight units. You've got a very nice bezel around the taillight themselves. You're dripping LED turn signal right here, but these taillight modules are so amazing. Uh, when not in use, they look like mirrors and practically reflect the road around you. You can see right up here is your actual stoplight, but right here you've got an LED light tunnel. Anyone that has held two mirrors beside themselves and looked down the ever-growing tunnel of reflections will instantly notice that that is about what we've got going on here with the LED lights looking into the rear of the Lexus LC500. I think these tail lights are the most beautiful, most over-engineered tail lights on the market, but they are absolutely stunning and just give the back of the LC a very unique look. It is Lexus, however, that did pioneer the Alteza lights on the Lexus Alteza back in the, what, mid-2000s? So it is very nice that Lexus is continuing their innovative ways with taillights here on the LC. Taking a look at the entire rear, it is a very cohesive design that very much mimics the front. You kind of get this spindle looking design here on the back of the bumper that mimics the spindle design up front. Lexus did hide a trunk release button right there on that taillight. And you would be surprised, I was actually able to get a full size piece of luggage in here with the top down. And I say with the top down, but that is with the top up as well because the trunk uh, is not impeded by the roof in any way, shape or form. So you can put a large piece of luggage back here in the back and then use those back seats for your carry-ons or any additional luggage that you might have with you. Because let's face it, well, you know what? Let's just move on to the inside. It's a very comfortable place to be. This is exactly what you would expect from a six-figure luxury roadster. This is just the most exquisite cabin I think I've ever been in. Everything is covered either in le leather or metallic surfaces. This really is an upscale interior. These red leather seats are semi-aniline leather and they are very soft, very supportive, and I just love the stitch pattern on them. There's a lot going on with these seats from the three-person memory to Lexus Concierge. And what Lexus Concierge is, is an automatic everything when it comes to these seats. They are heated, they are ventilated, and they even have an air scarf that'll help keep you warm on a chilly day. So if you set all of that to automatic, it'll just look at your climate controls for your dual zone climate and take care of the seat for you. If it notices, well, it's a little hot out and you've got the air on, it'll turn your ventilated seat on. If it realizes, well, it's a little chilly out, it'll turn your heated seat on, may even turn your heated scarf on just to give you a nice flow of warm air around you and even turn on the heated steering wheel. Just ultimate luxury here in the Lexus LC500 convertible. It makes top-down cruising an all-weather experience 
as long as there's no precipitation. Looking at the dash here, I've got a full digital gauge cluster, a very large widescreen infotainment system that is controlled by Lexus's touchpad. I will say I've gotten rather used to this over our week of testing here, and it is better than some dials. And then you get an analog clock and a very interesting texture up here on the dash. All of that is behind a single curved piece of glass, so I couldn't even touch the screen if I wanted to. Very nice uh, interface, pretty quick and easy to, to learn. The convertible top controls are conveniently hidden under the palm rest for the trackpad here, and that top will go up in 15 seconds flat. I'm going to demonstrate that once more for you right here. So just hold the button and everything goes to work. The rear deck lid opens up and then the top moves into place. There's nothing more that you need to do than hold this button right here. And then it will give you a nice little beep when it is done doing its thing. And then you've got your window controls right here, which is the only way to control these little rear quarter windows. And then you've got your front window controls here on the door. A very unique way of doing the overall window controls, but all that is hidden right under there. About the only knock I would give the controls in here is the gear selector. It feels like a glorified Toyota Prius, because that's exactly what it is. Push it over and forward for reverse, over and back for drive, straight over for neutral, and there's a button for park. Not the best, not the worst. Then you do have some very large flappy paddles to control that 10 speed automatic if you want to row through the gears yourself. But I will say that the vehicle does very good on its own, left to its own devices, especially if you are in Sport or Sport Plus, which is controlled from up here on this side of the driver information center. Very nice, very easy to use, and a very wonderfully appointed front section of the cabin. But what is that back seat like? Let's be honest, full-size adults probably not going to be riding in the back seat of this LC500 convertible very much, which is why Lexus has this removable windscreen to help with wind buffeting when it's one or two passengers up front. But it is very easily removable and necessary to be removed if you plan on using those rear seats, you know, for people as seats. The seat belt is under this leather strap and then there are levers here that move the seat upwards using the power controls. I will say having the top down is the easiest way to get in this back seat because you can just walk right in and stand right up because the seat moves forward enough that you really can just stand right here. Pulling the seat back and sitting behind myself at 5'10 is, well, it's impossible. But these power seats do notice that they are hitting something and will adjust accordingly on their own so that I am as comfortable as can be back here by behind whoever is driving. If you want to see me actually ride back here, be sure and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss when my wife Holly is driving. I'm riding back here with my son in the passenger side, and there's a lot of fun in our family review coming out later this week. But as far as sitting back here, well, it is tight, and there's going to be some negotiations between front and rear seat passengers. The seat belts are actually reversed back here, so they come over your right shoulder and down to your left hip on the driver's side here, backwards from what the front seat passengers uh, get in this vehicle. But as far as seat comfort, I mean, it is a little upright. I do feel like I'm sitting above everyone else. I'm staring at the top of the windshield, but with this little rear quarter window down, it's actually a very comfortable place to sit. I wouldn't want to ride across Texas back here, but it is definitely not a bad place to ride for a short cruise across town, as long as the person in the front seat is willing to give you a little bit of room, which they really don't have much of a choice with these automatic seats that Lexus has put in. I do get a nice view of an embossed Lexus logo on the back of the headrest here as well. And if the air scarf is being used up front here, all the air is being pulled in on the backside of the headrest. So maybe I'm getting a little extra airflow back here. 
who knows? But yeah, these back seats are not exactly intended for full-size adults. Setting off in the Lexus LC500, there's no other way to drive than with the top down. You just absolutely must experience this thing with the top down. And with the windows up and that rear windscreen in place, it's actually not all that loud in here. You can actually hold a conversation. I know cars with sunroofs that are louder than this vehicle is with the entire roof down. And with that roof up, the cabin is so quiet and drowns out the noise of the world around you. Lexus has done a lot to make this LC500 convertible special, including the stiffening and suspension of this vehicle. They did not just cut off the roof and call it a day. No, they took into account everything from the changed weight distribution to the different mass that this vehicle has and accounted for each and every change that came with chopping off the roof, making this a very well thought out performance vehicle, no matter if you have the top up or down. With that top down though, you get it, just all the extra noises from uh, that five liter V8 under the hood and that exhaust out back behind you that absolutely sounds glorious. Lexus goes on and on about how it's a finely tuned wind instrument, and I believe them. I think it is one of, if not the best sounding V8s on the market. And it's a real shame that they're gonna quit making V8s for electric vehicles. Why, Lexus, why? This thing is so good, and it just loses a little bit of its soul when you go all electric. There's just something about the roar of a V8. In fact, oh, it just sounds so good. I love it. But cruising down the roads, as you will in this, you're gonna wanna find a good driving road like these curvy East Texas back roads that I absolutely just adore driving down because the steering on this is so good. The brakes are so good. The engine is so good. It is a complete package, which makes this a fantastic Grand Tourer and just begs for a day just like today. 83 degrees outside, a few clouds, nice cool breeze, and oh, open roads, open sky. I love it. This is what this vehicle was designed for. And with that Lexus concierge service I mentioned earlier, my seat is taking care of me to make sure I am just the perfect temperature. If you wanna turn things up a bit, you can adjust your drive mode right here. I'm in normal, there's also comfort, eco, sport, and sport plus that change everything from the throttle response to the suspension dampening, making this a finely tuned machine, no matter what your planned driving style or driving occasion may be. This thing is so good and puts a smile on my face from the moment I push this engine start stop button. With 471 horsepower on tap right under my right foot, this thing will rocket from zero to 60 in a Lexus claimed 4.4 seconds. And I firmly believe them because that 10 speed automatic transmission is so good and so quick. Lexus claims that it shifts in half the time it takes the human eye to blink. Now that's quick. And as much as I like rowing through the gears myself with a six speed manual, this is really good when it comes to performance driving. And I did mention you do get these large flappy paddles behind the steering wheel that help you select the gear yourself if that's what you're into, which I will say in Sport Plus, this vehicle does a very good job all on its own. Hitting the curves means just a huge curve in your face, a huge smile on your face. This thing is meant for roads just like this one. Oh, 
This is actually the first time I've taken this one out here. These are my favorite driving roads, and oh my goodness, between the left right turns and the changes in elevation, no matter what speed you're going, these roads are just a blast to drive, especially in something like this. I will say not everything is perfect about this vehicle though. I mentioned the Toyota Prius gear selector and that's not it. So there are a lot of metallic accents on the inside of this vehicle which look very good unless they catch the light. And I will say the echoing metallic line over on the passenger side over there, when it catches the light just right, reflects in the windshield, and out of the corner of your eye, you swear you have a massive crack in your windscreen. And that is not something you want to see in a car that cost $112,000 as this one is spec'd. Sure, 2022 models start at $101,000, but this one has got all the goodies you would want, including the touring package, which gives you a head-up display, those 21-inch wheels and tires, and these semi-aniline leather seats. This, this is how I would spec it, for sure, because, you know, what's another eleven grand when you're spending hundred and dollars on a performance vehicle, right? This is my happy place, for sure. This car is going fast and it doesn't even feel like it. It hugs the road so well. Uh, I don't want this car to go away. I think I may just hide in the trunk and bring it back with me after they take it away. It is so good. And what's it like zero to 60, you may ask? Well. Just switch it over here into Sport Plus, foot firmly on the brake, give it some gas, let go, and you're off! Oh my goodness! So quick in those shifts! Oh my goodness! There's nothing subtle about this car whatsoever! It's good. All right, gearheads, that about does it for my week here with the 2022 Lexus LC500 convertible. I have absolutely come to love this vehicle. I love its looks, I love the sound, I love the way it turns heads everywhere it goes, I love how it drives, I love almost everything about it, except for that $112,000 price tag. I will say though, for that price, you get exactly what you would expect. Excellent Lexus build quality and luxury touches inside and out, attention to detail everywhere, even in the taillights. This really is a premium vehicle that demands attention no matter where it goes. As far as how it stacks up against the Mercedes-Benz SL, I'm still trying to get my hands on one, so please be sure and hit that subscribe button down below and ring the bell so you are notified when that video drops later on, and it'll help me convince Mercedes to send the competition to this thing here to me for testing. If you wanna find out more of what we are driving before it is here on the channel, go find us Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, you know, all the things at GT Garage Talk, or you can just head on over to gtgaragetalk.com where you'll get access to everything and links to everything, including our award-winning podcast. But as for me, I'm gonna enjoy my time with this LC500 for the few hours I have left with it because it is just too good not to drive. Until next time, gearheads, bye. All right, gearheads, well, let's make sure. Nope. I mean, it's a pretty slick shot, but. I just don't love that $112,000 price tag. $112,000, yep. Sport Plus, go back into drive. <laughs>